Well, 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 good afternoon, good afternoon, family and friends of Agapa FM. Yes, you are in with me, Yolanda Singh, encounter me, and it's been a while. Oh, I've missed all of you. Oh, the demands of life and where the wind blows, we sometimes have to go. I am excited about today's lineup and my guest in studio. I know it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So before we get into this afternoon, I'm just going to ask pastor manages to greet all of you and then we will get into the zest of today well i bring greetings to everyone um that are listening to us greetings to everyone that are tuning in live by facebook Molweni, Molweni, Matandegayo. <laughs> well well I, I i think i needed to just be aware that he's going to do this today we he's going to speak is it closer in between and he knows i'm like so weak at it you know but yeah we're going to have a good time we are looking at the hour of nine minutes past three and it's me yolanda singh with my guest today pastor manny praise um, and Prem is his surname, but today I'm excited for what we have lined up. Our discussion for today is the creative sound of a choir, and yes, it might sound cliche, but you will get why we chose that topic as we go along our way today. But before we get into this afternoon, you that are tuned in, please drop a like, a heart, a message, send us something on Facebook today as we are running live as Agape FM, the gospel radio station where we minister the gospel to you with so much love and more so as i said today our discussion is the creative sound of a choir a allow me voice. just to let you know mm. what today is all about but before i get into that i want to share what i find very interesting about this man that's opposite me today and the short biography reads as follows. Wow. Minister Prem is married to his, the, youth, the wife of his youth. I think her name is Tabi. Tabi, am I right? Yes, yes. And yes, together Ntabi. they are driven to the advancement of the kingdom. He was is a son of the soil of the Eastern Cape, called to the music ministry, and has, has afforded him to serve along many platforms and many of the finest artists in the music industry. A few years ago, Pastor Manny had him travel. Pastor Manny had traveled and established his craft along the coast of the Eastern Cape, until the mandate to return to Kabecha became clearer. The plans to return came with a solo event. As an artist, yes, you heard right. It's very amazing. I want to know more there. <laughs> Came as an event as a solo artist. And it is in the same time where he heard God's interven intervention and was all focused on what he needed to do next. As a minister, the Lord ministered to him about the mel melodic waves of voices at that birth the vision of a Kabeha choir, gospel choir, pardon me, also known as Port Elizabeth. This is a unique community of vocally talented souls from our city, embodied beautiful harmonies with the heart to bring heaven sound to earth. The, the Kabeha gospel <laughs> choir holds the purpose of serving the community at large through music and creative arts. In 2021, while he was preparing to come back home for his come back home show in Kabeha, the Lord kept prompting, kept prompting to him to embark on this venture of birthing and establishing a choir, which is what he says I intended to do. The prophet Isaiah writes in the book of Isaiah chapter 6, speaking about how he saw the vision of God being enthroned and the sound of heaven that was happening at that time with Isaiah's vision was the host of heaven 
singing holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is filled with his glory. That is the sound in heaven, the creative melodies of the host of angels ascribing greatness to our king. I thank God, he says, for my wife, as she partners with me to form the Kabecha Gospel Choir. Our hearts are to discover young aspiring artists of our city and to develop their craft by giving them the platform to showcase their talent in hopes of exposure both nationally and internationally. The Kabecha Choir aims to celebrate African gospel music, contemporary gospel sounds, with the diversity of our rich culture and languages that we have in South Africa. Do you understand, listeners, loved ones, friends of Agape FM, why I had to choose this topic? Because, I mean, who is crazy enough to come and start a choir in the city of Kabecha? <laughs> uh, you had to have had a sound here. Once again, good yeah. afternoon, Pastor Manny. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you, Yolanda. Um, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. You know, um, you know, I was saying the other day, I think I just need to park something somewhere or find myself a room. You know, I think I'm part of the family already. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Tell me. You you left. You went and went on your, your journey where mm -hmm. God just took you, set you apart. Talk yeah. us through along the coastline. What happened? Where were you? Yeah. You know, there comes a time which each and every person, when you get into a place of discomfort and when you feel what you're doing or where you are, there's something higher than that. Mm. Or there's something that is yearning for something. At times, I didn't know. When I tell people that it's not music that I was looking for. Okay. I did not even leave uh, the city for music. But it was something that was within me, okay. that longed for something different, mm. that even me, um, I didn't know. So I just had to leave. It was very, very instant how I left. I just packed and go. Sure. So I, you know, a, a good friend of mine transported me. He said, no, I'll take you where you want to go. Sure. So he, so he took me, he dropped me in Australia and I found a place to stay. And gratefully, um, a very, very good pastor a uh, friend and also who's my mentor welcomed me at that time and, and he just opened his door said no while you're there finding yourself here just just for you to find yourself sure. for the next three months sure you can stay with us me and my family sure so going there was a, I, I always say living um, P.E. Kabecha going to East London uh, for me it was a place of discovery wow because I didn't want to go anywhere else. I didn't mm. want to be outside of this province. I wanted to be closer to home. Whenever I want to go home, I can just, you know, mm. do that. Wow. And then you, you journeyed and and in your discovery, I'm sure, I've, I think I followed your journey for, a, for mm. quite a few years up until you came back. You yeah. were part of a group called Harmony House. Yeah. And, yeah. and music has always been who you are. That's mm. how I knew you. Yeah, and yeah. how did it get to the call? Like I said earlier, sometimes I run away from, just call me Yolanda. Do not give me a title, please. I'm afraid. But you went and you answered. How? Look, you know, it, it, it's how, how I answered. Remember, we, we always run away. But running too, yeah, <laughs> it always catching up with us because sure. <laughs> we will never, or, or, we'll, or we will never totally, totally mm. be off it. I just needed to make a decision. I, I, I tell people, look, the difference between me and you. There's nothing new. Uh, there's nothing special. It's just that I said yes. Sure, that's the difference between me and you. Me, I said yes. I said, Lord, okay, what is it that you want to do now? I'm willing, I'm available mm. because, you know, he allowed me to get into the space of music because when I got there, I was like, I love music and I think I want to continue with that and, I, you know, that's the only thing that mm. will make me to connect with people and, and, and through that and also through the pastor that helped me, you know, um, the Lord showed him some stuff about me mm. and he started channeling me, he started nurturing me, um, also what I had, you know, I needed someone to mentor me. So he took me, grabbed me and said, no, I'll walk with you the journey. Sure. So that was the beauty about it. Wow. Coming to the calling and only 
when the Lord started an, or awakening some stuff in me that existed in PE, yeah. but it's just that I was not sure mm. what was this and how was this was going about because it was too much um, as a child to actually, you know, carry and manage yeah. all of the things. Sure. I've got a very interesting question that I want to ask. I think it's mm -hmm. interesting. Your, you, you said, you, you mentioned something about your mentor mm. grabbing you. Yeah. And, and putting you under his wing. Mm. Mm. What was the most significant part of your journey with your mentor? And I'm pretty sure it's still very yeah. evident in your life today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But what stands out for you about your experience with having a mentor? You know, it, it, I think the most important part about having a mentor, you, we need to have a, or I needed to have a teachable spirit. And also be able to unlearn mm. and be able to learn. Uh, and allow him to show me the direction. And also, very important, this is what he did. He said, I'm going to show you how to get to God. Sure. He didn't do anything else. He said, I'm going to take you to the same place. I'm going to show you the same place. And how do I get there? So he placed me in that space so that I'm able to get to God. Um, you know, when we chat me and him, he um, we'll always get to this part. He said, that in this sudden, you know, man, I didn't lay hands on you for invitation. God saw your heart. Mm. And God saw fit that your heart was ready for these things. Sure. Because, I, because he channeled me to the place that I needed to get to. Sure. So that's key. Whenever one finds a mentor, find a mentor that will not glorify himself by the mentor that will take you to the source. So sure. he took me to the source and that source is God. Sure. Wow. That is so, it's so profound and it, it's so true. There's someone that once said to me, you always need to point people towards Jesus yeah. and away from yourself. Yeah. Pastor Mans, I know you and somehow your sound to me lingers. <laughs> I, I, whenever you sing, I'm like, listen to South Africa's Marvin Sepp. Tell me quickly, is that one of your musical influences? Look. Oh, who, who do you look, who do you um, have as well, your influences <laughs> musically? Check. Back then, um, Israel Houghton, um, Pastor Donnie McClarkin okay. has been a great influence. But especially Pastor Donnie McClarkin has has been a great influence. I it's because I, I was so diverse that I listened to a lot of people. Sure. The Fred Hammond mm. um, and and the others and the others and the others. So it, it 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 was quite diverse because I needed to. I didn't want to sound like anyone, but I wanted to learn from everyone. Yes. From everyone. So I had a I have a bit of everyone um, mm. in my journey. Sure. And and what would you want to project or? You, uh, let your aspired artists that you are working with, mm -hmm. what would you want them to walk away with? You know, um, very important. I, I speak about not losing yourself in anyone's vision. Mm. I said to them this, as much as you have come, do not lose yourself because there's a God thing in you and that God thing must not perish because you're here. So whatever that you're going to take here, take but put it together and grow from it so that for whatever that in future that you're going to do for yourself, you know that you have something, you're not mm. starting from scratch. And that's the most important part. And at times, many of us, we want to start from scratch, but the person that we worked with is working with us so that we don't get to start from scratch, but we're able to start from a good place. Mm. What they've encountered or the challenge that they faced, we're not supposed to face the same challenges. So that's one of the things that sure. I always put it out there. Sure. Yeah. Pastor Mans, you we we here to talk about the creative sounds of a choir and yeah, it's, and yeah. it's, it's it's a vision God has given you. Mm. What is so unique about or what is the dream that you have about the Kabeha Gospel Choir? Why was why do you think is this something that became so burdened in you that you actually conceived it and you gave birth to it? The sounds of a choir. Yeah, you know, the sounds of a choir is just to say choir because I'm coming, I have a very, very strong background of opera okay. and also choral. Wow. You know, I have a very, very strong and that, that's what has shaped uh, my musical journey. 
in, in, in terms of birthing. But I had to learn a lot, learn a lot of things, the harmonies, mm. the different parts, and, and, and the beauty about it, and also how all of them, they get to play a special part sure. in combining mm. the unity. That's one of the key things about the choir. It's the, it's the one voice. Sure. It's the unity. It's, uh, it's, it's for us to be, it is to be able for us to, to be able to hear one to another, is to feel our heartbeats. Sure. So that's one of the things that is special about the choir and also the sounds about the choir. So, um, and, and also if one wants to journey in that, we need to have an ear and able also, very important, also to be able to discern. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, 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 you've listened to the prompting of this vision yeah. after your coming back, coming mm, back home mm, concert. Yeah. Explain to us that experience. How did? <laughs> how did it? Wow. Well, well. Oh my! About that because I was not looking forward to inquire, because number one, I just got back here, mm. and in my third year of being in PE. I you know the Lord led me into doing this, and it's more like it was a trick of getting into this, <laughs> so that when you entered now, yeah. let me speak to you about sure. what I want you to do because I was like, oh, great stuff! I'm looking forward to the next coming year. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another show. I'm gonna bring some artists from outside sure. that I worked with. I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm excited to do gospel worship experience my organization, and and then just walk the journey. Mm. You know, make the praise and the price and all of that. Sure. We're looking forward to this. We're looking forward to this. And just right there, a week before the show, boom, on my step, and I was. I said to my wife, "Look, something has just been dropped." And I feel a pressure already with it. Sure. And I remember saying to the Lord, I'm just going to put it on the side. I'm coming back. Just wait for me to finish this one. I am going to look into this thing quickly, mm, quickly, quickly. Mm. But, but it cannot come like this. Now it's overwhelming. Sure. And the pressure of it, I felt it too much. To an extent that after my show, it was the next day. Or in fact, on Monday, after we finished my show, sure. I was embarking on this journey already. Sure. Wow. Like, and 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 in and in sharing, how has the the people's interest been? Look, it's amazing when God gives it to you that it flows. Sure. Because I remember picking up my phone, phoning the artists that I wanted them to be involved. Everyone was saying yes. Sure. Said, man, we love this. Yes, sure. we will be part of it. I'm like, I phoned about thirteen people. Sure. In two days, everyone said yes. Sure. Wow. We're coming. Wow. Um, I think we love this. We want to be part of this. I said, for real? I said, Lord. Sure. Why is it becoming so simple and easy and it's just flowing on it? And, and, and because I didn't want to introduce number one, the choir. I wanted the choir to be a surprise mm. that day of the show. But the Lord had to say no. This is the way I want you to do it. Mm. So I had to, we had to take the process and we say, look, we're going to audition some people here. Oh, so you did the auditioning yeah. as well. Yeah, wow. we did the auditioning as well. Because, because it, it was not going to be the choir without auditioning. I, because I didn't want to approach people personally. But also, I was looking for a different people, mm. for some fresh blood, mm. you know. Yeah. So tell me, Pastor, with, with the processes of, of this, are you looking into doing original music, your own songs, or how, how, how far is this about to spread for Kabecha? So, num number one, let me say for Kabecha, Kabecha Choir, Gospel Choir, is a multiracial. It's not for black people. It's not for white people. It's not for colored people or Indian people. My heart, when I spoke to the Lord about this, I said, Lord, okay, no, no it's cool. Because the Lord has given me uh, a vision for all nations. And all nations, uh, it speaks to me every race, mm. every color. Mm. As long as you're in South Africa, if you're in Port Elizabeth, Quebec, it becomes sure. more special for me. Sure. Because I don't have to struggle and mm. go and get people from anywhere else. Because... I said, Lord, I want a multiracial because we don't know, we don't have, oh, pardon me, we don't have a choir that consists of every race. Sure. Because I wanted us to experience, have an experience of everyone. Wow. How they worship the Lord. Mm. I said to a friend, we are parting ways 
not on praising the Lord, mm. but on how we are praising the Lord. Wow. Because of culture. Kabeha Gospel Kaya wow. is putting culture away and also breaking the racial barriers. Sorry, the racial barriers. So that's the most key thing about Kabeha Gospel Kaya. You said to a friend, we are parting ways not on the fact of how we... Uh, how we praise the Lord. Oh, we are parting ways not... Not on, praise, uh, not, not on praising and worshipping the Lord. But, but on, on how. On how. Wow. Because, because now we are dealing with culture matters because you, because you notice some they like contemporary, mm. some they like the rock, mm. some they like the ten sound, some they like the rap gospel, some mm. they like the R&B gospel, some mm. they like the smooth gospel or jazz gospel. Sure. How about we take the fusion and bring it together, but still put an identity sure. when you bring all of these things together. Said so now, okay, we have them together. This is the direction. Wow. Because, because we have to. Because colored people are special in their way. Uh, white people are special in how they praise the Lord. Black people, they like, you know, you mm. know when they come with dynamics and all of that. I said, okay. In fact, I want all of those things. These things, they represent the nation. That's true. Let's put them here. And let's put the racial sure. thing aside. Um, because because if if we're going to put if we're going to, if we're going to allow race race is going to separate us and, and we're going to part ways. It's true. Yeah. Sure. So it's how we pray. Wow. So you are actually creating the platform yeah. for all these different ways to be fused together and yeah. just bring a holistic. Yeah. It's something very unique. Mm -hmm. It's 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 actually very profound. It, you are actually allowing us to touch on how unique God has yeah. created us yeah. and to bring about the sound. I don't know if you know, there's, there's a gentleman, um, his name is Leon. You, you should know him. Yeah. Leon Jafter, the bassist. Yes. He has the saying Very where he good says, friend of mine. he would always say, let mm. your bones bring the sound of worship come before on, God come on, come because on. it's the bones that yeah, Isaiah, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Ezekiel spoke to mm -hmm, and it's the mm -hmm. bones that, that rattles and bring. Yeah, and for yeah. me now, you are giving me another part of mm. uh, the uniqueness of our God ministers yeah, to yeah. his worshipers is the bones with the different infusions of mm. sound. Mm. Wow. This is awesome. You know, Pastor, we are looking at going through this pandemic and the yeah. challenges that it brings. And how do you find with, with, with in, in terms of vision in looking at this gospel choir that you're creating, do you think you would just be limited to the Eastern Cape or do you see yourself traveling the parts of Africa and abroad? You know, it's amazing that when we spoke with my wife um, in the course of preparation and preparing the launch, and I said to her, I see us championing in Eastern Cape sure. before we go abroad, before we go to any other part of South Africa or Africa. I said, because we, we trusted the Lord that we will tour after this Mm. We will go to other places so so that it can be known that there's a people like this mm. who are breaking the racial barriers. Eastern Cape is so big sure. and, and beautiful and there are parts that we don't even know about That's Eastern true, Cape. That's eh? true, and, and And we spoke about this and we said, look, we're going to travel Eastern Cape and after traveling Eastern Cape, we're going to go outside and we're going to allow the relations that we have. Mm. When I go in other other parts, when I connect with other choirs, like you have your Twanes and the Devon Choir, mm. Natal, the Peter Morris Red Choir, we're going to go outside and connect with all of them people. Sure. And guess what? We will want to bring them in our home to Kabecha and experience, you know, sure. PE as a whole, as much as we want to go to them. Mm. But we want people to come, come to, yeah. because I have a heart for our city. Um, I have a heart for what God wants to do in a city. For a very long time, I speak about this and I said, PE or Kabecha has been flow or people are flying over it. Good things are flying mm. over it. You know, it will jump from Johannesburg or East London to, uh, to Cape, Cape Town, Town, George, and it will just fly the sure. other way around. And, and so it's a deep cry for me. And I said, it, it, it's an error with such giftings and talents that we have in our city, 
it, it, it's time for our city to arise and we position ourselves for sure. what God wants to do. Uh, I said, we're going to do what we're doing here. Hmm. And and people are going to see what we're doing, and they're going to come to our light. Sure. So, Am I correct? I'm speaking under correction, but I do think um, the, the first choir that I came to know about in PE was the PE Community Choir. PE Community Choir. And most of them have transitioned into well-being yeah. adults and grown and families and all of that. Am I correct to, to, to think that Abeja Gospel Choir will be the new baby on the block? Because I'm not sure if yeah, I do yeah, yeah. know of another choir, as in holistically a city choir. Yeah. It's amazing that you're speaking about that because I, in the process of, preparate, of preparation, I got to find out in 1982, wow. PE Choir was birthed. Colin, Godfrey Grotbom, um, uh, I think also William Wilderman, that core family, sure. they were involved in orchestrating. I think Colin, mm. um, Colin was, was the younger brother to Godfrey Grotbom and William Wilderman. He was the he was the conductor of the choir, sure. and also um, I think there was a PE fellowship and you know yeah, other fellowships yeah. that were involved together. They were mm. working very close, close together. together. And guess what? It's two generations apart. Wow! From the 1982s and so now, now. Wow! And, and they're still alive. Wow! And in my prayer, I was saying, Lord, I'm trusting that um, the ones that started it. Wow! There will be. On the day when Come we on. launch, they, they will, will be, be there, there to witness. To witness and sure. also hand over. Wow. Wow. That is that is profound. Yeah. I wasn't sure. I was thinking when I, when I saw this ad on the first time when you spoke about it, mm. I said, but the only choir that I really knew, I'm not talking about the choirs within churches. Yeah. I'm talking about a city was the PE Community Choir. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. that is why I said your shoulders are very broad to run with this. Mm. It, doesn't, it just doesn't just happen. Yeah. And, and, and today, as we speak about the creative sounds, are, are, are you open to them? Are you in relationship walking with the first, first community choir people where, they, mm. where you guys are mm. exchanging and you, you are being walked with and they are being open yeah, to? Yeah. Is, is there that transition taking back and yeah. forth taking place? Because that would be yeah. totally awesome. I spoke with, um, I called him Pastor Uncle. Godfrey, Godfrey Hrodbom, um, because we spoke over the phone and also we met in person. I, and, and I said to him, I pray that, you know, those guys, because I know that they're old now. They're sure. in the ages of 50s, yeah. 60s, yeah. you know, uh, some of them. But uh, I said, I'm trusting the Lord that they will be there. Because I spoke to him, because this was one of the big choirs. And like, it, they were big in PE. They were, uh, you know. Sure. Merging also with the black guys. That's they true. work with the black guys. Yeah. The fellowship, I think there was a PE fellowship mm. that also they required. They'll come together and they'll go in different halls uh, as far as Assemblies of God back you know, in the township. Sure. That's where they were. And, and I think they're one of the choirs, first choirs that went to sing, you know, at the university. They wow. got the venue at the university and, and, and they sang there. When no one was going sure. at that time of the apartheid era, that they were going there, but mm. they are the ones that trailblazed, you know, before us. So we are not starting from scratch. Mm. We are starting on foundation. Sure. And we, it's important for us to Beautiful. recognize them. Mm. Yeah. We are not starting from scratch. We are actually starting from a foundation. Yeah. Beautiful. Bringing the fusion of different sounds and cultures together putting away racial issues, mm. but wanting to project how we worship and praise God yeah. as one. Wow. Pastor Manny, what is the what is the the dynamics? If I call it the, the dynamics, are we looking at just a certain age group or is this initiative open to any age group? How are you going what's your plan when you when we you, when you're going to filter into schools? Yeah. Are you going to how are you gonna nurture? What is your desire or your dream for keeping music active? Because you know mm -hmm. it's true what you said. It's either most of our musicians go to Cape yeah. Town or yeah. Johannesburg yeah. because yeah. they feel mm -hmm. that expansion 
expansion and growth is only there. Yeah. But P is so rich. P is so, is so rich with gifted and anointed mm. singers and artists. What is your desire? Your 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 about the dynamics of what you are birthing and yeah. and launching. You know, for now, when it comes to when it comes to on that, because we want to keep the music alive. Look, the youngest person in, in the choir is sixteen. Wow. And that person is still at school. In fact, most of them, they are still at school. Uh, but they wanted to be part of something mm. that, that I think it, it, it will bring hope uh, to our youth and take them away from many other things. Because not only they are coming to the choir, also we pray. I speak to them. I share some stuff, mm. so also some experience stuff. So we have a 16-year-old. And also I think the, um, the oldest person might be 35 or around 36, 37 in the choir. So we did not have much of an age matter when we oh, auditioned awesome. them. But also we are looking at the vocal ability because yes. the 16-year-old that we have, that boy can pull like nobody's business. Mm. What a voice. So when I auditioned that, that young boy, actually too, it's a boy and a girl, 16-year-old. Um, and when I looked at them, I saw me back then. Sure. And I was like... I would love to grow this. I would love to nurture this. I would love to, you know, equip it so much that it grows into a place where it's mm. ready to come out. And at that time, sure. it will just come out. Wow. You mentioned something earlier about when we're in the choir, it's it's the beauty of harmonies. It's the beauty of the fusion of different vocal arrangements mm. together. But then you touched a nerve. Mm. You touched the nerve where you said it's the beauty of developing your ear. Yeah. Speak to us when it comes to the creative sound of a choir. Mm. How important is the ear yeah. in this musical articulation of skill? You know, I said to the team, look, I have about 36 vocals in the choir. Wow. And, and, and it's not an easy thing. I said to them, I want you all to sound like a six-part vocal. Wow. Just right there from scratch. And everyone, they were like, wow, sound like six people. But there's 30, 36 of us. I said, no, now I'm going to teach you how we're going to do this. Mm. I, I said to the team, look, I have that one is going to be the key vocal. It's going to be the focus vocal. That one's going to be a focus vocal. I want you all, now you're about to learn how to copy someone else's voice mm. and sound like that. I, I made an example. I said, you know, when you are watching your celebration, and as many as they are, but they sound like it's, it's a six-part vocal. I said, it's key. Your ear, ear is a very important instrument in music because you need to be able to listen to the person next to you. You listen to, listen to the other part so that you're able to mm. connect. And, and then mm. also we're able to be in sync together because when we're in sync, we are able to, to have a balance. And whatever that you know, the voice that you have, now you will learn by force sure. to tweak yourself to that focused voice that we have placed. Because I worked with the team when I started. And the first team that I, that I worked with, I said, you guys are going to be the key vo voices in terms of focus because I like your tone already. I, 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 so... When I worked with them, they, they needed to get the sound that I have because mm -hmm. they have a different sound from everyone else. So when they learned the sound that I have, everyone was able to adjust to the sound. That's true. Even the new people, they listened to them, and it was not even two weeks. Within the same week, everyone, they switched themselves from the voices that they have mm. and to the focal voice, to those focal voices because we all have different textures, but we need to sound as one. Wow. Wow. So the tuning, fine tuning of your ear is to allow you to, to switch or to, to, to you need to, mm. you need to glide. Mm. I think gliding together so that they, they actually sound like six yeah, individuals, yeah, yeah. even though they mm. are 36. Mm. And that is so phenomenal. When, whenever I, I found myself as a child to watch these choral videos that we used to play a lot yeah, on yeah, SABC yeah. one, you would be looking and you would sing so many people, but it sounds like it's only three yeah. or four people yeah. singing. That is the beauty of the sound that they create. 
right. Tell me, Pastor, with, with, as we're coming to a close of our, sound, our, our afternoon together, this is interdenominational, it's mm. interracial, it's, mm. it's, it's the, man, the, 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 the tapestry of music, it's beautiful. Yeah. When do you plan to do this huge launch, as in showcasing no. these gifts to us? Um, we had a date that was set already, which was the 26th of March. Yeah. And some things happened along the way, you know, with the bookings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we had to allow the shift. And, okay. and though it, it was not an easy one, uh, because, it, you know, it shook everyone. Yeah. And everyone was like, you know, there's a saying in PE that things don't last. Yeah. Yeah. And when something like this happens now, when you have a set date, and on that date that you put a, you have put up on the 26th of March, that we say we're launching on the 26th, we're ready. And the booking place tells you something else. Sure. A double booking yeah. happened. Yeah. And firstly, it, it, it gives you a shock. Yeah. Oh, Lord, what's going to happen? Because I want to be trusted also. Yeah. And I want to be a, a, a person of my word. Mm -hmm. So that if I say on this day, on this day, we go. I don't say, uh, yeah. we're going to fumble yeah. through or, you know, things yeah. are not coming together. And then I change stuff. So, and we had to, not to react, but we had to see it as an advantage. Though everyone did not feel nice about it. I said, look, there are two things. It's either you choose, you choose to see it as a bad thing. Oh, you see it oh, as an advantage. I said, me, I see it as an, as an advantage. Mm. We have more time to finalize. Yes. And while the, the booking section threw us off, it's all good and well. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on what's good because highway or oh, the other way, we are now we are coming to a month of May, yes. which we will be launching on May, but we will confirm the date okay. within the next coming week of okay. March. And that will be settled. Um, now I'm coming with a statement also on Facebook to everyone that's following us, yes. to everyone that is excited because yes. we have a backup of pastors you know, yes. that are praying for this and everyone else. So when challenges like this, us, we know our city. And we understand our city. Mm. What, whatever that is going to bring a different sound, a new sound, it will always be attacked. And also there are spiritual matters that sure. go with the things. Sure. Wow. And for us that's listening, you that's tuned in, that might be from Kabecha, please do follow Pastor Manny on his page, Manny Praise, and you would be able, even I think the, the Gospel Worship Experience have their own Facebook page yes, as well. Yes. So just to be updated, and I'm pretty sure soon we will have snippets of rehearsals or just, yeah, yeah and they're being given a teaser of mm -hmm. what the creative sound of a choir has to bring forth. What I love about today's session is we might be many people on yeah. stage, but our desire and our focus is to bring one sound. Yeah. And that one sound should be creating an altar of worship that will be a sweet saving fragrance mm. in the nostrils of our Father. And Pastor Manny, thank you once again for coming on air with thank me today so to showcase and to talk about your passion, mm. the fact that you want to birth, you have birthed this baby because you are working, it's yeah. nurturing yeah. this child yeah. now. And usually when a child is born, you know, within the first few months, you need to make sure you're rocking that baby good, <laughs> rub it out good. I had someone yeah. Um, the last time talking on air with me about the different methodologies that they use when wow. when babies are born mm, in different mm. cultures, and yeah. especially with us as a community of the culture of colored people, we have this different oils that we want to rub the child with, yeah. and we 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 listen into that, and we also know that in the spirit realm, it's almost similar. It's almost similar. We need to constantly teach, constantly nurture our babies that we give birth to with the word of God. Mm. And from us as a family of Agape FM, we would really like to wish you well. We pray that God would prosper you, you. in this venture and that it will grow from strength to strength yeah. until you one day have to hand over <laughs> the, and be the one that's Most the one that's definitely. looking yeah. on to yes. the next generation stepping yes. up. And Pastor, in coming and closing with that, will you give your closing remark to our listeners and viewers today. And this transcends or exceeds just music. Mm. What would your encouragement be for someone who is burdened with a vision? You know, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 60, Arise, shine, 
for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Mm. And this is what he's actually saying. Get up. Your time has come. Mm. Position yourself because the Lord is about to use you. Sure. So if the Lord is about to use you, he needs to find you already. Mm. Because if it says arise and shine, it, 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 you are being told, get up, prepare yourself, get ready, because now the time has come. So gear up. Your environment needs to be conducive for what the Lord sure. is going to do in your sure. life. Hmm. Get, get up and gear up because your environment needs to be conducive for the Lord to do what he needs to do. Thank you once again. We are definitely excited about what the Lord is doing in the city of Kabecha. Yeah. And for you that are tuned in, do not go away. It's just goodbye from me, Yolanda Singh, on the Encounter Miss Lot. And I would really like to encourage you, stay on air, stay online, because there's some beautiful worship music still following throughout the course of this day. Thank you once again, Pastor Manny, for thank coming. So much, and Mr. I Yolanda. bless the Lord. I thank the Lord for the greatness that he has started in your life. Mm -hmm. And he is faithful to complete. Thank you to your wife for allowing you to come. Yeah, commissioning. I, yeah. I always say, you know, behind every successful man, there's a praying woman. Yeah, so yeah. thank you, Pastor Manny and your wife. May God bless you even for your ministry. For people that don't know, you do an exceptional, exceptional yeah. wavelength of ministry yeah. on Cyber World with your online church. Do not lose heart. Stay focused. And may the Lord bless you. Going out today with the song known as Kangela Ni by Swordship Essay. God bless you. And it is goodbye for now. <laughs>